so many tiny insects emerging from the shell of a dead pupa. And they start mating. What is going on here? The image showcases the ultimate scene of a parasite invasion on an insect pupa. The capsule represents the host, that is the empty shell of a dead pupa, and the tiny insect is a parasite. The funny thing is that the host itself was a parasite on another insect. So the tiny insect is a parasite of a parasite. That is termed as hyperparasite. The host is a pupa of oozy fly, and the hyperparasite is a parasitoid, trichomalopsis uzi. The rice grain is placed in the frame for a scale. The insect size is about 3 mm. About 15 to 25 hyperparasites develop inside the host body, and they emerged as adult insects by piercing the pupal shell. The host body was totally consumed by the hyperparasites. The adult insects start mating soon after emergence. The females are more in a group, they fly off immediately after emergence or after mating if a waiting male engages them. The males are very few in number, at least one of them stays back at the site for mating. He stays near the exit hole of the host pupa, looking for the emerging female. When the hero is busy with another gal, the newly emerged females leave the place without waiting to mate. Maybe they mate with some less privileged guys elsewhere. When his patience runs out, he may enter the shell in search of a mate. Yes, he could engage a virgin inside the shell, even before her emergence. The male who emerged first, is waiting for a female, if the emerging one is a male, he will attack the younger brother, and will chase him out. There was a definite mating protocol for them. Always the male who emerged first remains at the site for mating. He is the big brother of the colony, and it is his privilege to mate with as many females as possible. He chases and bites the younger brother but the younger brother too has a urge, he comes back, but only to be bitten and chased out again. He will not allow one younger brother to remain at his domain. But it is important to know that the younger males do not fight back. They just bear the biting, and move away. They apparently accept the supremacy of the big bro. It is the seniority that matters here. When a younger male emerged, he finds his big brother busy with a girl. He goes back into the shell in search of a virgin. Another young brother stealthy enters a shell when the big brother is busy. Apparently the poor guy didn't find a mate inside, but he got bitten by the hero when he came out. The females leave the place immediately after mating. If at all a tired one stays back, the male pushes her out. Your purpose is over, now leave the place that is the order. The game is very romantic, there is a lengthy foreplay and afterplay. The male kisses and licks the antennae of his mate before and after the copulation, it is called antanation. Antanation is a characteristic mating behavior of this insect species. A strange and funny critter indeed. Enemy's enemy is friend. Trichomalopsis is a potential biocontrol agent to combat the Uzi medicine silk industry. The research is on, at the Central Sericultural Research and Training Institute, Misuru, India. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do it by pressing the subscribe button to get more interesting nature videos.